have the ability for you to share this with multiple agents now. So you could have three or four agents, and if I clicked on this one, it goes to this agent. I click on this one, it goes to this agent. And we also see agents starting to co-op market with mortgage brokers and all sorts of interesting ways that agents are utilizing this program to really get in front of a, a very uh, distinct group of people that are currently searching on Realtor.com. And I grabbed a couple just to show you. Uh, I know we have a lot of people from Texas and Florida on the phone here today. Just wanted to show you a couple of agents that are utilizing this in their marketing. So if you take a look at how these ads work, there's actually three ads around the properties. You have the ad across the top, you have the ad down the side, and then right before they go to the next page, you can see in Gene's ad, there's another ad. If you click on that ad, and it says luxury portfolio, luxury living is now more affordable than ever. I'm a luxury short sale specialist. Click here. If you click on that, it goes right over to Jean's website where she can now drive traffic from people that were originally looking on Realtor.com over to her website and capture them from there. Here's another example of someone that's really capturing these short sale and foreclosure type leads. And it's all about what the message you want to deliver and then what your deliverable is. Now, it's interesting what Betty's doing here. This is called Market Snapshot. And those of you that have Market Snapshot, I really encourage you to think about how you can integrate that into your marketing because it's a powerful way to show home buyers that you have access to automatic information that they're looking for. So now it's time for me to give you another free tool. So we talked about Market Snapshot. Let me go ahead and pull Market Snapshot up, and I want to show you a really cool tool. So this is called Market Snapshot. Most of you are already familiar with this. This is an ability for you to, this is something you pay for. It was designed by top producer, and it takes information from your MLS and sends it to consumers. Now, how does it send it to consumers? Well, they fill out that form that basically says, I'd like information, and then they get this information sent to them 24 hours a day. So what I want to do is show you a new little free product that makes this really cool. It's called Jing Project. So if you just type in J-I-N-G-P-R-O-J-E-C-T.com, Jing Project, you're going to find yourself out at this website called TechSmith, and you can download this program called Jing for free. Now, they do have a free version and a paid version. Everything I'm going to show you right now is in the free version. So, you know, buy the paid version if you want to make longer videos. You know, that's the way the world works. We'll give you a taste. If you like it and you want a better version, you can pay for it. But I'm using the free version of what I'm showing you here. So what is Jing? Jing gives you the ability to do some really cool stuff on your computer by sharing information that you see on the Internet. So up in the top right-hand corner of my screen, do you see that little sunshine pop out there? If you download this, you're going to have one of those, on, and it works on the Apple, it works on Windows, and it allows you to capture things. So I'm going to go back over to this market snapshot. Now, what if I had created a page on uh, Facebook uh, for a neighborhood? Many of you have done that. It's called creating a neighborhood Facebook page, and I wanted to share some information. Well, I could go over here to Jing, and I click on this little capture button. Again, this is free, totally free. And I said, this is what I want to capture because I want to share this with some of the people. Maybe I want to share it on Twitter. I want to share it on Facebook. I want to put it on a Craigslist ad, whatever, right? I go like that, and I say, I want to capture that much of the image. And it even gives you the ability to do some really cool stuff simply like this. I can make an arrow and say, here is the uh, average days on the market. So then I could put some text in, look, folks, market is changing, right? So you do some quick things like that, and then I can actually save that, and it's just going to say, what do you want to save it as? So I call market is changing, and I save it to my desktop, and then you might say, well, where would I use that, Max? Now how do I access it? Well, let's go back over to your Facebook page. So if you have a Facebook page, and you might say, hey, folks, now, again, I would do this on my real estate official business page on Facebook, not my personal profile. I don't want to turn this into a Facebook class, but those of you that are having success with Facebook, you're engaging consumers and you're talking to them as if you've seen them in a grocery store, not throwing your listings in front of them. On your business page, this is all great and appropriate. On your personal profile, use that to engage your sphere of influence and connect with them. Hey folks, look how the market 
is changing. And then all I do is say I want to upload a photo. It says, well, what photo do you want to upload? Well, I want to upload that one that I just did, and that was called Market is Changing. So I hit Choose, and then I hit Share. And now, within just a few seconds, I found something that I liked. I captured it. I made a note on it. And now I've uploaded it to my Facebook page so that anybody that's following this page now sees this post. Hey, folks, look at how the market is changing. And when they click on it, I could have them go get that report if I wanted to. So I'm going to remove that post, but I just wanted to show you how easy this tool is to use. Now I'm going to go back to that market snapshot and show you one other really cool tool about this product called Jing, jingproject.com. So I'm going to go over here, and what I want to do is I've heard that YouTube is getting a lot of traffic. YouTube is the number two search engine in the world. YouTube gets a lot of traffic from Google. Google owns YouTube. So wow, isn't that amazing? When you do a Google search now, how a lot of times you're going to find videos that show up. So let's say I type in market update into Google. What you'll find out uh, sometimes is when you do a search, see how these videos start showing up down here at the bottom of the page? But they're still on page one. And if you were to do a market update for a specific neighborhood, and you actually titled it Market Update for Stonegate Village, and then I did a search on Google, guess what? You're going to come up near the top of the ratings. And you might say, but Max, I don't really know how to do the video very much. I'm not really good at that. I'm not really a techie. Well, this is how easy this is. Watch. I go up to Jing. I click on Capture. I simply highlight this market snapshot. Again, this, the market snapshot is something you'd have to buy, but it's worth it. You need it. It's a beautiful tool for just about everything you do. Now, instead of capturing a photo, I'm going to capture a video and watch this. It will give me a little countdown because I'm about to capture a video. Hi, folks. This is Max Pigman, and I just wanted to give you a quick update on how the market is changing so fast in our area. As you can see, the asking price versus selling price graph on my market data here, we're starting to see that more and more sellers are getting closer and closer to their asking price with 97% being the average over this period of time in this particular marketplace. Now I just hit stop recording. Watch how fast this is. It's going to take what I just did on my screen and my voice and turn it into a video. Is that cool or what? And there's no charge for this. I can't believe this is a free tool. So it just created this video with a play button. Now I hit play and watch what happens. This is Max Pigman, and I just wanted to give you a quick update on all the marketing. So I just created a video, and now what would I do with that video? Well, I would save it, and then I would upload it to YouTube. Then all of a sudden, I got something that I can link to out on Facebook, and I can actually link right to that video, right? So hopefully, you see how this stuff is starting to come together because. It, whether it's a mobile or just a tech-savvy consumer that's surfing the Internet, they are more likely to click on something that has a video attached to it than just some static information. And it's no longer just the techies that can create this stuff. This is really very simple to do. That was used in something called Jing. This is called Market Snapshot. Again, if it's available in your area, and it's available in most areas, this data, by the way, just so you know, this comes directly out of the MLS. This is not like a uh, county tax record database or a zestimate of property values. This is real MLS data about what's sold, what's listed, all that, and it comes directly from you. And then you get a control panel where you can then follow up with the people that are getting this report. And by the way, they get this report every, every single month. Now, you might say, well, do they want it every month? Well, NAR did a survey, and 74% of consumers said they would like to get a report an electronic report based on what the market is doing, and you know probably less than 5% of realtors are actually doing this. So would I rather receive this in my inbox once a month or a lasagna recipe postcard at my door? That's the kind of thinking that we need to start challenging. Are we in the cooking business or the real estate business? So let's, let's be relevant. Let's offer consumers what they want, and the whole time I can click and go to this agent, whatever the case may be. So that's called Market Snapshot, a really powerful tool that you can integrate with a lot of different social networking and all your other marketing tools. All right, so if we jump back over here, what I want to show you next is something called Featured Homes. But before I do, I want to ask you another question. So those of you that have uh, disappeared here, 
I want you to come over and answer this question. Are you currently offering anything to a 